Next question is from Lifted Locks. Recently, I did Adam's Mobility webinar. It was great. However, I experienced a lot of soreness the following two days, specifically in my hips. Is that normal or did I do too much? Very normal. <laughs> very, very normal. And that's, a, I mean, that's a sign too that you, yeah. you activated and worked a bunch yeah. of muscles that were very dormant. It was like a foreign animal. Yeah. And just think about that. You woke up uh, a bunch of muscles, got them sore without even having to do real, any sort of major resistance. All intrinsic. Yeah. yeah just you, just you doing iso isometric holds got you really sore which just that is a sign that it was needed now you keep practicing that and that'll eventually go away you won't get sore but this just so you know uh that how normal this is this happens to me when i get inconsistent with my mobility mm -hmm. if i fall that's why it's a lifestyle it's something that i have to the 90 90 the combat stretch the moves the zone one all these moves that i talk about that i love i practice them all the time and when i don't because those times happen when i fall off the wagon for a week or two and just whatever has haven't been doing my mobility drills i pay for it 100 percent, i pay for it and that's how i know is i'll get down i do a 90 90 and then i get sore as shit from just doing the 90 90. Yeah. but when i'm doing it consistently i don't get sore at all in fact i start to see progress you know with more and more and more range of motion so yeah absolutely very very normal um it and it's something it's just it should be a, a glaring sign that you need that well and that's the amazing part too with isometric exercises are you can really control uh just ramping up that intensity yourself and you could actually work your muscles by not doing a whole lot other than really uh you, you know squeezing harder it's crazy now some people might be confused because they've heard us say so many times that soreness is a sign that you did too much. Now this is different. You're not using resistance. There's not a lot of muscle damage. You're sore from connecting, which is very, very different. Like if I got sore from mobility versus sore from a heavy set of squats, the recovery is very, uh, very, very different. That being said, the soreness from mobility goes away pretty quickly. If you practice it, you know, once you learn how to connect, it it goes away. It actually goes away in a matter of weeks. Just oh, has to become familiar. You'll, you'll feel it lighten up completely if you actually just get back down and do it again. Yeah. So if you feel sore from that, that's where this is a little bit different than training with resistance is get down and do that stuff again within about five minutes of going through those drills. It should really relieve a lot of the soreness and tightness that you probably feel from doing it. But yeah, absolutely normal. Uh, stick with it. Also means you did a good job. You know, so I, a lot of times when, if someone, if I take someone through a mobility class and yeah. they don't feel sore afterwards, the way yeah. I think they, they weren't did, putting the effort in. Yeah. Probably. I don't think they were doing a very good job of it unless they were somebody who was already hypermobile. That's different. Right. But if I have a, a client who has never been introduced to like a 90, 90 maneuver and I take them through those moves and they tell me the next day that they weren't sore at all, then what I know is they were just kind of uh, laissez-faire moving through those, yeah. right? Just they weren't actually trying to intentfully drive into it, find a new range of motion, connect to the movement. Uh, you obviously did. You did a good job.